Hi, I'm Magnus. I needed some kind of dust collection for my jointer. So I came up with this dust shroud, which is easy to attach with some rare earth magnets, which holds in place. I started this without any drawings, so the first thing was to figure out a design that should work. And to do that, I had to take some measurements to figure out the outer dimensions of the dust shroud. Then I just started to make some simple sketches based on these measurements. I knew I wanted to hook it up to my 100mm or 4 inch dust port that I had prepared for earlier, and together with the measurements it gave me a simple box-like design. I first squared off one edge and then cut the front and the two sides. The ends had to be beveled, and to figure out the angle, I just took one of the side pieces and held it in place and made a mark. Then it was easy to transfer the angle to my adjustable angle tool, which I then could use to set my miter fence on the table saw. I first cut one end and then flipped it over and used a stop lock to get the both sides equal in length. To get the length of the piece for the front, I just held it in place and made a mark. It was a lot of going back and forth to figure out the next step, but I wanted a slope on the bottom and measured onto the sides where to cut the dados. These dados were then cut with the track saw, and I used a small test piece to make sure that the bottom would fit. Then it was just to cut the masonite for the bottom to size. And to do a dry assembly to check that everything would fit properly. The only thing left was to cut the back piece to the correct length, and of course the hole for attaching to dust holes. I used a 102mm hole saw and drilled halfway through before I flipped the piece over to finish the hole. I did it this way to prevent tear out on either side, but instead there are some cleanup to do in the middle of the cut. Then it was finally time to assemble. I used a regular wood glue and started with gluing the sides to the bottom and then the back piece, which I also attached with some bread nails. And then the same with the front piece. I cut some strips out of plywood and drilled some shallow holes for the magnets and also pre-drilled for the screws. Then I attached both strips to the front with glue and brads. To be able to attach the hose to the dust sprout, I use a piece of ventilation duct that I cut to size with angle grinder. I also made a second piece with the same size hole to get more surface area when gluing in the ducts from the front end. For this I used a product that is a combination of glue and cork, which creates an airtight connection. After assembling I added some spring clamps and also some extra cork on the outside. To get a smooth result, I just used my finger dipped in some water. Before setting it aside to cure, I decided to reinforce with some screws. The day after, it was fully cured, and it was just to attach the hose and then to dry it out. As you can see, there were some chips left in the shroud afterwards, and there are certainly room for improvements, but for now, I'm happy with the result. Thanks for watching!